Hey guys, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be talking about Ontario PNP's new expression of interest system. Let me make it very clear that this is the new proposed system. This system is still not into effect. But will it actually benefit you or will there be any disadvantages or this won't affect you anyways? We'll talk about this in this video. So in this video, we'll be talking about the overview of this program, all the details that are available at the moment. Not all details are available, but whatever details have been published, we will talk about that. We'll talk about the various streams that would be affected that might follow the new EOI system that has been proposed. And we'll also talk about the timeline that from when will this new system can become applicable. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hello everybody, I am Shitan Chu from Dream Abroad and I regularly upload Canadian immigration and lifestyle videos. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please consider subscribing and pressing that bell icon so you don't miss any of my videos. Okay guys, before I begin this video, let me tell you that now I'm there on Instagram as well. So if you want to enjoy the fun part, you can connect with me over Instagram. It's all about my life here in Canada. The ID is Dreamers Abroad. Please note it's not Dream Abroad and it's Dreamers Abroad. So please feel free to follow me on Instagram as well. All right, now let's begin our video with the Ontario PNP program, the amendment that has been proposed. This is the amendment that I'm talking about. It is there on the official website of Government of Ontario. So if you want, you can check it out. But I'll tell you about the details of this proposed amendment. And you can get to know all of that if you click here on this link. This will take you to this page, which will give you a detailed description of this amendment. But to understand this, it is very important for us to understand the structure or the different streams of the OINP program. So for that, I'll take you to an older video that I recorded probably more than two years ago. Yes, in June of 2018. But this still holds valid because in this video, I talked about um, the overview of the program, the eligibility criteria and the various streams. So let me take you directly to that section where I talked about the three different categories. So the three different categories in OINP or Ontario PNP is the business category, the employer job offer category and the human capital category. Now why I'm talking about this, you'll get to know when we talk about the amendment. So here in this page, you can check out that this amendment would be applicable for the following streams. Employer job offer category, master's graduate and PhD graduate, which means it is for the three streams mentioned here in the employer job offer category and the first two streams of the human capital category. We'll talk about this amendment in detail, whatever points are mentioned here. But before that, let me tell you that when we talk of OINP, all the people who are sitting in the home countries like India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, uh, UAE, all these countries, you talk generally about this stream. You talk about the Ontario Express Entry Human Capital Priority Stream. So this stream has not been mentioned in this amendment, which means that this stream will not be governed by the EOI system, which in turn means that it would be the usual process that Ontario will pick the profiles from the Express Entry Pool according to their own labor market needs. And so I hope this is very clear that this change is only for these five streams, not the three streams related to the Express Entry program. So these three streams, Ontario Express Entry, French Speaking Skilled Worker Stream, the Ontario Express Entry HCP Stream and Ontario Express Entry Skilled Trade Stream would still follow the old process. And by the way, if you want to know more about the OINP Human Capital Priority Stream, which is the most popular stream, you don't need a job offer, to be eligible for this particular stream, you can watch out this video. I'll provide the link to this video in the description box below. Now let's check out what does this amendment has to say. So it says that there would be a new expression of interest system that would be created for these five streams. And under this system, individuals would register with the OINP and be placed in the selection pool. Now, this is just like any other PNP system. Until now, Ontario hasn't got its own points table, but it seems that there would be a points table coming in very soon. Until now, for all these five streams, what has been happening is that they are conducted on the first come, first serve basis. And basically, the invitations are issued in the first couple of hours of the stream getting opened. 
And this approach has been highly criticized for long. So they're actually taking this new approach of EOI system to improve the overall process. Now talking of these five streams, it is very clear that these streams mentioned over here are mostly those streams for those people who have a job offer. So most probably there will be those people who are already working here in Canada and also about those two categories mentioned here, master's graduate stream and PhD graduate stream. Here it is written that there would be a points table that would be created and points would be allocated to various factors just like the express entry points table there would be a Ontario points table of its own and there would be a different structure they haven't disclosed the details about it but yes as soon as they disclose the details about their points table I will make a separate video explaining that point table to you guys so here they've clearly mentioned that this EOI system would be a score based system or you can say a merit based system that would actually award you scores based on the information that you provide in your profile. So you need to go into the, their website and create your own profile. And based on your score, you would be issued the ITAs. It would be just like any other PNP system. I won't be talking in too much detail about that. But through this video, as I told you, I just wanted to clear the doubts about many posts that I've been seeing on different forums that this might shatter your dream because they're tightening their rules there's nothing like that guys don't be worried about it i've told you very clearly that this is only about these five streams mentioned here and it's not about the oinp hcp stream or the ontario express entry human capital priority stream which is the most popular stream among immigrants who are there in their home country okay now talking about the timeline of this proposed amendment so so for all of these five proposed streams all proposed changes would go into effect after a 45 day public consultation period that ends october 23 2020 so probably this would be formal sometime after october 23 2020 and i would make a detailed video about this as they release more information about the points table and any other information that is relevant to their new EOI system. So I just hope guys that this is very clear in your mind. Do not get confused with any random information that you see on the internet. Always check the trustworthy sources. So that was all the information that I wanted to convey through this video. If you like the video, please click the thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, you know what to do. You have to click the subscribe button on this channel, Dream Abroad, your favorite channel. Thanks again for watching this video.